Hello and welcome. I'm Johnny, I'm an engineer, and you want multiple pages in your Next.js app, but don't want to keep duplicating code. Currently, we've got a splash page that looks like this. It's got a header and a footer, and it's got some meta tags about the favicons and loading a Google font, which we've added in the last episode. And we want a contact page that looks like this. One way to get there would be copying our index page, pasting it and renaming it as contact. This is how writing works in Next.js, so the contact route would now be rendering our home component as well. And then we could copy and paste that component directory too, rename this to contact, and start implementing the body. Re-export that instead and we're there. But now we've got all this duplicated code. If we change our font loading strategy, we'd need to change it in every page we've got. And although I don't imagine we'd ever change the ordering of the header and footer, this is duplicated code that this component doesn't really need to be concerned with. I'd rather not see it. So what do we do? Next.js magic. Next.js has this concept of a custom map where you can define what's injected in the document body. We've actually already created this underscore app DSX in our pages directory when we were setting up Tailwind, as we wanted just the one place to import our global CSS. The rules are that the underscore app file needs to have a React component as the default export. Next.js will magically give it props, which include the page to render passed in as component and the props it's supposed to take in. So this is the simplest custom map we can create. It achieves nothing extra. What we want is to remove the boilerplate from our pages, so let's slide their uniqueness out and cut the rest. Gone. And paste the boilerplate here and render the uniqueness inside the main element. Sweet, everything's back and our page components look a bit cleaner. Next.js suggests going a bit further with this refactoring and creating a layout component. This can help if you've got a few different layouts. For example, maybe most of your pages share the same layout, but your splash page has a unique one. I don't think we'd ever use different layouts for this app, so we won't implement the get layout suggestion, but let's refactor to using the one layout now. This is becoming a bit of a convention and it's nice to stay consistent. So the two pages have some stuff inside the body tag shared. How do we share stuff outside of it? For an outer body experience, Next.js has this concept of a custom document. It's like a level app from the custom app. In the custom document, we define what's injected in the document itself. So we create an underscore document TSX, and the default export again has to be a React component, but this needs to be a class component. What a twist! Let me know in the comments if you've never seen a React class component before. If you've ever heard of class wars, they were about this. So, 
Our custom component is not a function like every React component nowadays. It needs to be a class because it needs to extend Next.js's document class. React class components have render methods that return the JSX we want them to render. So we need to override this one and say we want to return the Next.js HTML component. Inside we want the Next.js magic head, the magic scripts, and then our main app, which is essentially what we've defined our custom app to be earlier. But in the head, we want to pass in all this custom code we want to share. So let's cut this and this and paste in the custom document. Sweet. So we now have the one place to specify all of our meta information. When we bring in analytics, this is where we'll be writing code. Although some of these tags shouldn't be the same on every page, things like the title and the meta description, how do we make those dynamic? Well, one way that's similar to the guidelines for custom layouts would be adding some properties to our components. So we can keep these as defaults by cutting them from here and pasting them in our custom app inside the next head we'll bring in. And we can say that if the component has a title, let's use it or else it's going to be our default one. And if it has a description, use that or else go for that default. Finally, let's make TypeScript happy by explaining that our page components sometimes have a title and a description. Let's take what the docs are doing for the get layout solution, but instead our pages are going to have some meta properties, title and description. Cool beans. you can see the title changing between the two pages and the description as well if we inspect the source code. All right, this was it for today. Yes, I will leave the contact page looking like this because why not? It's not like we're linking to it. We'll make the link and make it look like the design in a following episode, right after we configure Zest to run some tests with React Testing Library. Configuring Zest and testing in general has been suggested before. You too can help me prioritize what to shoot next by telling me what videos you want to see in the comments below. Thanks a bunch for watching, I'll see you around.